Hey everyone, it's Ms. Bell here again in the science lab and today we're going to talk about the physical property of matter that we call shape. Now in first grade you guys know pretty much the 2D shapes, you know whether it's a circle or a triangle or a rectangle or a square. I'm trying to do it with my hands. Um, but later in the school year, y'all are going to learn more about 3D shapes, and that's when those flat um, shapes start to get bigger and fuller, and they have a specific look to them. Right here, I have a 2D circle. You can see the outline of my yellow circle. However, I have a tennis ball, and it's the same shape if I were to take my tennis ball and draw a line on a paper around it, it has that same shape. So here are the four shapes we're going to focus on with our sorting and classifying. We have that rectangle shape. We have our circle shape. We have our triangle shape like my yummy Dorito right here. And then we have our square shape, like my Lego piece, where all sides are the same length. And on the outside of my orange paper are all the items that we get to look at and try to um, figure out what shape or section do they fit in. Um, here's my soft, um, fake tomato. It's one of my kids' toys. We would call that a circular shape. So I'm going to put that with my circle over here. Here I have just a random piece of cardboard, and that is the shape of a rectangle. Then I have this uh, fake plastic, it's almost like a cake, but as you can see, it has the shape of a triangle. So I'm going to put it with my other triangular shaped objects. Then I have an orange, yummy, yummy orange. Oh my gosh, that looks so yummy right now. But I'm going to put that with my circle items. I also have a box of matches, and that shape is a rectangular shape. I also have a stick of gum right here. Um, and even though it's really long and short on the edges, um, it would be a rectangular shape. Over here, I have a yummy, yummy chocolate donut. Even though it has a hole in the center, we would call that a circular shape. So I'm going to put that over here. Now here, I have a plastic toy. Again, it's one of my kiddos' toys at home. And it's hollow inside, but it's supposed to represent an ice cream cone. And if I take my finger and I trace the outside of this shape, it makes the shape of a triangle. So I'm going to put that over here with my triangular shapes. And I have these really fuzzy puff balls or pom-poms, and those are circular. And over here I have a piece of carpet, and it's in the shape of a rectangle. So I'm going to put that right here with my other rectangular items. I also have a box of crayons and that's in the shape of a rectangle. Moving over here, I have this fake pizza slice and even though it's curved right here, it has a nice sharp point right here which lets me know that this is the shape of a triangle. I have a drum over here, and that's circular. I have a foam green block. And even though this little cutout is circular, my outside shape is square. I have a purple sponge that I cut into the shape of a square. And that is how we look at objects and we try to figure out that physical property, the shape 
of an object so that we can classify what shape it looks like. 